Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comment section below. As blue-blooded Bostonian Mrs. Margaret Drysdale in The Beverly Hillbillies, Harriet McGibbon was an American film, stage, and television actress best known for her snobbishness and snobbishness. Starting in 1925 at the age of 19 when she appeared on Broadway for Beggar on Horseback at the Schubert Theater, McGibbon had an impressive and long Broadway career. She died at age 81 due to heart and lung problems. The American actress Paula Alma Kelly worked in film, television, and theater as an actress, singer, dancer, and choreographer. Her Broadway career began in the mid-1960s when she played Mrs. Bellaz in the 1964 musical, Something More, alongside Barbara Cook. Kelly passed away on February 8, 2020, at the age of 77 of heart failure. Robert Conrad is a retired American actor, best known for his role as James Jim West in the 1965-69 television series The Wild Wild West. He was born on March 1, 1935 in Chicago, Illinois, and started his acting career in the late 1950s. Conrad appeared in numerous television shows and films throughout his career and was known for his tough guy persona and athletic ability. He passed away on February 8, 2020, at the age of 84. McClarty was an American actor, playwright, and novelist. McClarty was also an audiobook narrator, with whom he recorded over 100 titles and won many Audi Awards. He appeared in numerous television shows, films, and stage plays. On February 8, 2020, McClarty died of dementia after living with it since 2014. In addition to acting, Tracy Roberts also became an acting coach. She was sometimes referred to as Tracy Roberts. She took advice from a friend and taught acting after her acting opportunities dwindled. She was artistic director and coach at the Tracy Roberts Actors Studio. In 2002, at the age of 87, she died of a cerebral hemorrhage at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles.